Hello everyone! You're probably wondering, what's with all these kegs? Well, that's because I want to try the coffee farm one more time, and this one is going to be the ultimate coffee farm. Now what I've done is placed a whole bunch of kegs down here in the forest by where the spring onions grow. Hopefully they don't grow into my kegs, but it is a possibility. The purpose of having all these down here was so that they're out of the way so I can still have a full crop of coffee on my farm and then hopefully turn all those coffee beans into coffee in the kegs every single day. They are going to take two hours each to do so, and I think I've got more than I could even fill in two hours, but we'll see, that's part of the experiment in itself because optimally I would only have enough kegs to fill every two hours and then I would start again. I think I've got more than that, but if I'm going to do something, I'm going to go big with it. So I think there's enough kegs here anyway, so we'll go replant the coffee in the field and see if this can be done. The whole purpose of this is to have a crop of coffee on my farm that grows and will be mature every two days. So on the day in between, we fill the kegs up, turn it into coffee coffee, therefore doubling its value. So back to this stupid farm. The first thing we gotta do is remove some kegs that were here for a little experiment I was doing on the last video. If you haven't seen what I've been experimenting with, I decided to see what a single coffee bean would do in one year, being that it expands so fast, and turns out if you replant that one coffee bean again and again, it will cover your entire field by the end of summer. And that's by the end of your first summer, so if you want to make a crop as quick as possible, get a coffee bean, start multiplying it. Just one last little spot to gently farm. That should do it, now we'll start planting again. I won't show you too much of the planting, I'm simply going to use my tractor which is a mod to plant all the seeds. I've already fully established that you can plant all the seeds within a day, water them, harvest them within a day. It's more about processing them to see if you can process the full crop within a day. That's the real question here. If you want to see what the tractor looks like planting, well it looks just like this. All you gotta do is occupy your seeds in your backpack and drive around and it does all the work. It's much easier and a lot more fun. Now, even with the tractor that did take till 7.30 p.m., but I did get a late start at it. You can normally do it even just hoeing the ground. You gotta be efficient with it, but it can be done. Anyways, I'm gonna make these all grow up here, and then we'll see if we can put them all into the kegs in a day and actually have a functioning, fully functioning mega coffee farm. And, well, because I'm a wizard, the coffee's all ready. One day later, not even 12 hours later, it's ready to go. Now again, I'm going to use a tractor to harvest this because I've already fully established that you can harvest this all within a day and I don't want to pick it all by hand. I'm going to use the tractor and then tomorrow is a day we'll see if you can process all within that 24 hour period. Now to harvest with the tractor, all you need to do is have your scythe equipped and then drive around and it will harvest it all for you and chase you around because you get extra magnetic power. Well there we are, using the tractor and even only half paying attention, I harvested these all by 12.30. There are a little over 12,000 of them I believe. Seems like a lot to process in one day, but we're going to try tomorrow and I'm going to turn all my movement speed and everything off. That way the results don't get skewed. I want to make sure you can do this a natural way without mods. I am going to make sure it's sunny tomorrow because I hate playing in the rain and I especially hate making videos in the rain. One thing I am going to use, however, is real coffee to boost my movement speed because you can have that in a natural game. That's no problem. So I'm going to run all the way down now to the coffee forest, the keg forest, see if I can process all these hopefully within a day. I think I can. It might be a long day, but it might just be doable. I think a day in this game is about 14 minutes, 13 minutes, somewhere in that neighborhood. And it would be really nice if this didn't take that long because I don't want to run around filling kegs for that many hours. Here we go. I'll just start right here because it's closest. Run around in two hours. These will be ready and I can flip them. And in a perfect world, I would fill all of these perfectly and be back to the start point by the time they're ready to go, but I don't think I'm going to have that luxury. But as long as I've got a keg in front of me to fill, it's going to work. Also, I could be picking a more efficient route, but I'm recording at the same time and that makes it kind of hard to think, so I'm just going to go for it and hope for the best. And because I'm stupid, I wasn't paying attention to what time I started filling these at. That would have given me some indication of when the first ones are going to be done. But again, I don't think they're going to be all filled by the time I'm ready to head back anyway, so I don't think it's really going to matter too much. And for those of you that want to try this yourself, make sure you pick a very clear route in between the rows. Mine are kind of off balance everywhere as you can see. Makes it a little more time consuming to get through them all. Not a big deal, but definitely something to consider. And for those of you that don't know, five coffee beans will make one coffee in, in the keg. Are these ones already full? Okay, they're full. It scared me for a second. I thought I was running into some kind of trouble. Like right there, that little dead end is no good for this idea. That would just cost you way too much time. A lot more time than it has to. So I just heard the first ones pop already, so they're ready to go. So you can only fill that many in two hours. You could do a little more if you were efficient about it, but I'm just running around like an idiot trying to get this done. 
and I need to drink more coffee. The faster you move, the better off you're going to be here. Unfortunately, you can't use coffee off of a horse. That would be pretty cool, though. So have your coffee selected as you pluck the coffee out of the kegs. I know I keep switching the term coffee bean and coffee, but I think you'll get it. So as you're collecting those, just keep filling kegs. As long as you're continuously filling kegs, you'll be all right. Looking at this, if I was going to do it again, I would put more pathways in between the middle of the rows of kegs so I don't have to run all the way to the end to get around to a new row because that's actually eating up a lot more time than it has to. But we're doing pretty good so far, not even 10 a.m. and going strong, harvesting some of my first coffee. And I gotta remember too that I summoned 999 coffees into existence using the item spawner so I can't sell those at the end of the day because that wouldn't be very good. So from what I'm seeing here I probably could have gone with about half as many kegs I would have been just fine like that. And also dead ends are your enemy you want to be able to keep continuously running all in one direction while filling kegs that would be the fastest way to do this. So you could probably do with even less than half of the amount of kegs that I have, but I just set them up so inefficiently because I wasn't really sure what to make of this. I just wanted to try and kind of learn from there. And so far, I'm learning. 12 o'clock right there. That's not the halfway point in the day, but it is getting on there. I might have to pick up the pace a little bit to actually accomplish this. I definitely regret spreading these out so far apart from each other because it's really annoying how I'm kind of sparsely populating these kegs. I've got some done way on the other side. I'm going to have to run way back to get maybe five or ten of those, run all the way back here. It's starting to get dark now. Actually, after eight o'clock, you can hear the crickets in the background. The music would have long since stopped and I am maybe about halfway done. So I definitely was not even close to accomplishing this. I'm going to keep going right to the bitter end. I've still got another five hours with which I can work. The other side of this is I can't go till I pass out because I need to have energy for tomorrow and I need to sell these all tonight really to have accomplished this idea. The whole idea was to have these all ready to be coffee and sold tonight that way I could start the whole process again tomorrow. But that's not going to happen. Luckily I've got some coffee to help keep me awake. So my strategy at this point is simply to collect as much coffee as I can right up until about 1 o'clock and then I'm just going to go sell it all minus the 999 whatever that I summoned into existence with the item spawner and then we'll see how much money I made today. It is midnight now so I've got to be ready to start making my escape from my giant coffee maze here. It's getting dark and hard to see and I keep getting jammed up in my stupid little corners that I've created. So I've got to be careful of that. I've got to be sure I can get out of here. So actually at this point, I'm going to stick near the top of the maze. That way, once it hits one o'clock, I can make a quick exit and I'm already stuck. In all fairness, a coffee maze is a good place to be stuck overnight. Well, that's close enough. 1 a.m. I got to head back to the farm. I don't want to pass out. I can use a return scepter if I have to, but I don't really want to. I'm just going to run back, throw all this coffee into the bin. We'll see how much money we made. In case you're wondering, we were left with one, two, three, four full stacks of coffee. Let's say four and a half full stacks. Uh, I guess plus that one. One, two, three, four, five. 5,500 seeds left. So we only got about half of it processed. But I do think you could do it a lot more efficiently, like I was saying, if you lay them out better. If you lay them out better, that will make all the difference in the world. Make it so you can endlessly be placing them, not running back and forth and finding your way out of the maze. I might pass out here anyway, but that's not going to be a big deal. I'm going to sell this all. So one of the stacks was summoned into existence. I probably used maybe five over the course of the day because I kept forgetting. So that's only how much I sold. So let's go to bed and see what that's worth. Uh, just about to pass out because I'm holding coffee in my hand instead of the empty spot. That's one game bug that's always kind of annoyed me, but... Normally I know better, so I don't do things like that. Anyways, the money for the day is still pretty good, 180,000 gold. So if you were able to do that more efficiently, you would effectively double that. You're looking at 360, 380,000 gold, somewhere in that neighborhood. That's every two days, so that's not bad. That's almost 200,000 gold per day. That would take a lot of work, of course, to do that every day. It would make you a lot of money, though. That would actually be one of the most valuable crops you could do. But I certainly wouldn't recommend it. If you're going to do it, you'd want to plant the coffee beans on the 1st of spring. By the 10th of spring, they would be ready to start the whole process. And then you would have, I believe, 25 days of doing that. Every second day you harvest. And the days in between, you got to turn them all into the kegs, into coffee. Well, that was fun. I just wanted to try the coffee farm one more time to try and make that idea work. I might still do it with an efficient setup to show you guys. I'm not really sure yet. I think I've deemed that it is plausible. Though I failed, it is plausible. Anyways, stay tuned for more videos like this. If you haven't seen my channel before, go check it out. Millions of other videos just like this in there. Other than that, hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Oh, and one more thing. 
if you are subscribed to me currently or were subscribed to me or think you are you might want to go ahead and check i checked yesterday during the live stream turns out a few people had been unsubscribed by youtube or whatever happens so you might want to go ahead and check it would help us both out a little bit thanks again